Okay, so it's almost 5 a.m. And I just cracked my chimney. So I'm going to let this heat up with the charcoal. And I'm going to throw it in the Weber Smoky Mountain. I got applewood chunks in there. And today we're going to cook a brisket. Alright, so chimney is ready to go. I'm going to throw it in. Alright, so my... Weber Smoky Mountain is all set up. I put the water in it. I got my barbecue guru set up. So it's going to do its thing when it needs to. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go get the meat, throw it on, and I'll show you that. Alright, so the brisket is seasoned with just salt and pepper. That's all it needs, both sides. Okay, so the brisket's on. And it is, the brisket's only 47 degrees internal. And my pit is climbing at 193, 194. I have it set at 225. But I'm more interested in watching the food. I know this thing's not going to go too high. Just a little quick, uh setup talk here on what I'm using <clears throat> this is a Weber Smoky Mountain uh, it's a water smoker and I am running a barbecue guru which is this little device here I can set the temperature of my grill with a probe that comes in to the grill here uh, one's the uh, pit probe one's a food probe but I can set the temperature on this thing here and when the temperature gets too low, this is a little fan down here. And that fan starts blowing the coals to make it hotter inside. So it basically regulates the temperature for you. You don't have to do fuck all, which is pretty awesome. It's just basically set it and forget it. So I'm going to go to sleep now for, I don't know, a few hours, then wake up and then check on it. I'll show you what it looks like then. All right, it's now... Almost two in the afternoon. There's my meat temp. It's holding at like 156, 155. And my pit is at 226. And I have it set at like 230, so it fluctuates up and down a little bit. So yeah, just keep letting it cook until you hit that 190 internal temp for the meat, pull it off, wrap it up, and she's good to go. Alright, so it's just after 3 o'clock, and my meat's at 170, and my pit is at 235, which is what I set it for. It's holding steady, 235-ish. And, uh, yeah, just keep letting it go, low and slow. I started this at 5 in the morning, something like that, 5, 5.30. And it's now 3, so, yeah, might go uh, 12 hours to get this one done. Also, the piece of brisket that I have in here, it's not the full brisket. It's just the actual flat on it. It's not the point and the flat together. So, yeah, it's just the flat. The point and the flat would probably take even longer than this, but then again, I had the temperature set really low in the beginning at like just like I think 205 or 210 or something like that. So I just cranked it up to 235 now. A lot of people have it like 235, and I think people go up to like 250. Yeah, 250 is still on the smoke setting, and it will cook a bit quicker, but I just whatever I have time, so low and slow is how it goes and there's the fan again alright beef brisket is complete it's time to pull this sucker off and put it in the foil alright beef brisket is done and you can see the smoke ring and it is just all kinds of friggin yum in here man all kinds of yum like it's just 